We begin with breaking news this hour. The European Union has hit tech giant Meta with a record-breaking fine of over a billion dollars for defying privacy rules. Albert Delatella is now here with the details about the fine and all of the rest of it. Albert, what do we know? Well, it's a massive fine, Natalie, resulting from Meta's handling of user information. Meta is, of course, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram. The company is now facing a fine of 1.2 billion euros or about 1.75 billion Canadian dollars, courtesy of the lead privacy regulator in the EU. The fine surpasses Amazon's 746 million euro fine in 2021 for data protection violations. It also has it also has five months to stop transfer a user's data to the U.S. Meta says it will appeal the ruling and what it calls an unjustified and unnecessary fine. It said in a statement that the ability for data to be transferred across borders is fundamental to how the global open internet works. It said the free flow of data supports many of the services people have come to rely on. Well, Albert, we know the legal battle on where Meta, Meta stores its data has been going on for quite some time, for years really. Tell us about that. It has for about a decade, in fact, um, starting with when an Austrian privacy activist brought a legal challenge over uh, because of uh, uh, the, what was seen as the risk of U.S. snooping. It was related to revelations from former U.S. Mm -hmm. National Security Agency contractor Edward Snowden that Facebook gave U.S. agencies access to the personal data of Europeans. A deal covering EU-U.S. data transfers known as the Privacy Shield was struck down in 2020 by the EU's top court over concerns it didn't do enough to protect residents from the U.S from the U.S. government's alleged uh, elect electronic prying. A revised agreement is still pending. Meta says there is no immediate disruption to Facebook in Europe, but longer term is less clear. Natalie. All right. Well, thank you, Albert. You're welcome.